On a street corner in downtown Fredericksburg, Senator Ted Cruz is greeted like a returning conqueror. One, two, three. To supporters, he's the man who's taken on the Washington establishment and an administration he sums up in one word, lawless. Cruz says the crisis of Central American children being smuggled into the U.S. by violent cartels is one example. It is horrific. And the humane answer is to stop the pattern of lawlessness, of amnesty, of refusing to secure our border that is causing so many children to be subject to such horrific abuse. What about the $3.7 billion supplemental appropriation the president has proposed to address those things? Less than 5% of it goes to border security. The only way to stop these children from coming is for us to enforce the laws and for us to humanely, compassionately, but expeditiously reunite them with their families back home. The bill includes more money for courtroom personnel, $1.8 billion to care for children in custody, $1.1 billion for ICE, and $432 million for Customs and Border Protection. It seems like these are a lot of things that Democrats and Republicans are asking for. Well, but almost all of the funding goes to things other than border security. And notably, the president does nothing to address the underlying problem. He does nothing to address the lawlessness and amnesty that caused this problem. He does nothing to address the bureaucratic delays that are mandated. Cruz argues the causes include a 2008 law requiring hearings for smuggled children from non-neighboring countries, as well as a 2012 memo from President Obama granting legal relief to some who entered the country illegally as children before June 2007. Is there a compromise that may include some funding that the president has suggested but also addressing that 2008 law, as you mentioned, or perhaps uh, something to do with moving National Guard troops down there. Is there something that everyone could come together on? Mark, I, I certainly hope that, that we can reach some bipartisan compromise on this. We need to fix this problem. We need to address this humanitarian crisis. You know, I will say it, it is not facilitated when the president announces his legislation which doesn't address the problem and then stands up and insults and harangues anyone who disagrees with it rather than sitting down and working together to address this problem.